Good morning. Today is May 4th, 2020, and this is the Morning Breach with Scott Davis. The popular open source blogging platform with more than 2 million installations worldwide confirms a hack. No, it's not WordPress. Ghost, the self-proclaimed world's most popular modern open source publishing platform, includes big name customers such as Mozilla, NASA, and DuckDuckGo. An attacker used a vulnerability in the Salt Stack to gain access to the infrastructure. Salt Stack is an open source infrastructure management tool that last week announced two critical flaws that gives a remote user access without authentication. In addition to Ghost announcing a hack, DigiCert and Lineage OS also announced hacks using the same stack configuration framework flaws. It's important to know if you are using SaltStack in any of your applications, in any of your services, in any of your systems, it is critical. The vulnerabilities are out there. They are being targeted. You must patch your SaltStack, schedule some downtime, get it patched. The Asian e-commerce giant Tokopedia is investigating a data breach after researchers discovered 91 million user records for sale on the dark web. The database contained email accounts, password hashes, names, and more. How much were those 91 million records worth in the dark web? Roughly $5,000. Of that $5,000, it's important to note that you're getting password hashes. A password hash is an encrypted field or an encrypted password. So it's not your password in plain text. Plain text would be if my password was Roughly, it'd be R-O-U-G-H-L-E-Y, whereas in a hash, it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's a very long field, letters, numbers, symbols uh, that mean absolutely nothing to the, you know, standard eye. Um, but depending on the encryption used, depending on the methodology that it was used to encrypt, uh, password hashing to clear text is possible with the right amount computing power and time. How it was hashed, what you know protocols were there is still unknown, but as of right now, it's only worth about $5,000 because you're not giving those passwords out. Still, it is recommended if you have an account, reset your password. In addition, Cplanet IT Solutions was linked to a massive leak of personal data of 337,000 Maltese citizens, or some 75% of Malta's voting population, leaked from a database which included ID card numbers, dates of birth, and perceived political preferences. As America, we get ready for our presidential election. We get ready for our elections in June for in Pennsylvania. Our you know, primary has been moved to June, but then also the general election in um, later in the year for you know president. Look for more things like this to get in the news, and ultimately there's going to be a lot of eyes on the American elections for threats and cybersecurity threats. For the second time in the last month, Nintendo's third-party partners have been caught lax with security. The latest breach includes the original source code for the Nintendo 64, GameCube, and the Wii. It's important here to just highlight the fact that Although all of these gaming systems are really not in production anymore, um, the source code being, you know, released or, you know, being, you know, breached opens the door for people to create what's called emulators that run on your PC or in an Android system that allows you to play Nintendo 64, GameCube, Wii games, you know, on another device. It also opens up a unique market where criminal or... People that create devices based on copying can now use that Nintendo source code and create cloned Nintendo 64 GameCube or Wii systems. So although it's not a current system, the breach of the source code is a critical breach for Nintendo. And I think it just goes to shed light that you have to do more to ensure the data you're sending to your third parties is protected and that you know how it's being protected. Working from home could become the new normal. 
as many employees see major employers, including Model X, Nationwide, and Barclays, talk about a permanent shift to work from home and reduced office space. Barclays CEO Jess Daly said this week that putting thousands of workers in a corporate office building may never happen again. By the end of September, the, def the, the, the Defense Department will require at least some companies bidding on defense contracts to certify that they meet at least a basic level of cybersecurity standards. The DOD released version one of its Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, or CMMC, earlier this year. The CMMC will examine 17 components, including access control, asset management, audit and accountability, awareness and training, configuration management, identification and authentication, incident response, maintenance, media protection, personal security, physical protection, recovery, risk management, security assessment, situational awareness, systems and communication protection, and system and information integrity. Microsoft has delayed the release of Windows 10's May 2020 update until the end of May as it adds additional bug fixes to the patch. But if you are using the DISM, or Deployment Image Servicing and Management tool, a bug with the reporting status remains and will be patched in a later update. Did you know that Windows 10 also has built-in protection from ransomware? In Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, you can protect files, folders, and memory areas on your device by unfriendly applications, as well as enabling a ransomware data recovery point using OneDrive account, using your OneDrive account. And to leave you all today, as it is May 4th, uh, it is May the Force Be With You Day, uh, the official slash unofficial uh, Star Wars Day is today. So as I leave you all, Please may the force be with you and have yourself a great Monday. Thanks for watching.